All right, where's the cable? I don't want to get too muddy here. Now there's definitely going to be weight because I have a cinder block on it. That's a lot of weight. Here's his head. Looks like a good front foot catch there. Hey, good morning. It is the mor morning of the 30th. Uh, I set traps yesterday. I'll probably throw a clip in of the weather we had last night when I was driving home from church. Um, but man, did we get some rain. Like a lot of rain. I mean, it's to the point where you almost can't even see the road. Um, I have very little confidence in this trap check. I just feel like with the storm that we had, that the beaver were not going to be moving last night. So, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to check it anyway and probably have to freshen up those caster mounts. They might have been washed away, honestly, um, with the amount of rain that we got. But uh, i got to bring in two cats and a dog. You can probably hear the cats and there's Chance. And they're going to the vet to get neutered because I listened to Bob Barker. So that's what I'm doing. And then uh, we'll see you at the traps, guys. And then I'll come back if there's anything or if I need to refresh. But we'll see if we got anything in these traps, guys. And that MB750 is gone a good sign that 330 is not fired not a good sign and I don't want to slip here I'm wearing my all-terrain Crocs but we'll go have a quick look at that last one and where did I put it down a little bit further yet oh that fishing pole forgot it not fired here either you can see that the storm really kind of exposed my traps and whatever mound I did have is gone no big deal man it looks totally different than yesterday it washed out a big section of that center dam do a quick pull up on that one see if we had a sprung trap or or if we actually held on to them. Because I'm I got a little bit of time. So let's have a look. Get through these briars real quick. Alright, where's the cable? I don't want to get too muddy here. Now there's definitely gonna be weight because I have a cinder block on it. That's a lot of weight. And you can't see it, but there's a beaver. Let's see how big he is. Here's his head. Looks like a good front foot catch there. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna leave him just like this. I'll get the tripod, get these animals dropped off. And we'll come back out here, guys. But. Got at least one beaver on the drowning set, and that is the first catch I've ever had with an MB750. That's awesome. Right, there's, the, there's the guy. Doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm gonna go camouflage these other sets up real quick after the rain washed out. I'm not surprised they didn't get hit. And if you remember, which I just did, I dropped my metal safety. I'm, I'm just going to call. Oh, actually, I see him right there. Give me a second. I'm going to go get them. Well, that's how you put holes in waders. And this is how you get your hoodie off that thing. See if I can get it. Without getting... Nope. A little wet. Got him. All right, let's get this thing cleaned up a little bit, guys.
put some new caster on because surely that all got washed away. That'll do that. That one's reset. Or re camouflage, not reset. Put these in a safe spot. Right back where I lost them last time. All right, let's go down to that other one. And uh, pretty excited. Don't really want to understate that about catching one on those MB 750s. Um, those are super awesome traps. And uh, I, I haven't really had an opportunity to, to employ one of those, not in a super effective way anyway. Same thing here, guys. Actually, I'm just gonna turn off the camera. I'll show you what I, you can see that the wind and the rain really exposed everything. All my camouflage just got washed down. So I'm gonna just get some fresh stuff and clean it up, guys. All right, now let's go get this catch see what we're working with here and then get that one reset should be pretty easy let's see here don't mind me I'm just gonna get my tripod set up so you guys can see this beautiful beaver and you guys can't see because I'm done we got a perfect front foot catch here, guys. And a decent beaver. Decent beaver. That'll work right there. Let me get him out of the trap. And uh, we'll get a better look at him. The drowner worked perfectly, man. Like, really good. Looks good right there. Again, MB750. We're gonna put it right back where we had it. Same exact setup. The top anchor worked well, and the bottom. And uh, you know, I just have it on that rebar, and then a chain wrapped around the center block. And I just didn't want to leave a tall metal stick out the top of the water. You guys can hear where I'm trapping. There's concrete saws running and traffic over that bridge so try to keep it somewhat low profile beaver here. Let's see if we can get a better look at him here. Big old flat tail on him. Decent casters. Good looking paper, guys. I'll take that. Not massive, but um, 
first catch off the new place when I wasn't expecting any. Ooh, got everything reset. Got my safety back. And I'm probably gonna come back in here and do more drowning sets. Um, I might even do another one right here. We'll see, but anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy what you're seeing. If you do, please, you know, throw me a subscribe, a like, whatever, whatever is, is that people do these days. But I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch it as I kind of learn about this new passion that I have that I never knew was really there. So anyway, that's corny enough. Y'all have a good day.